we hit some balls hard, and we, we did. We hit 12 balls hard on the numbers right at some guys and, and really couldn't get anything going offensively. Eric Lauer didn't have his best stuff, you know, but it, he's human. But he still left the game, you know, 2 nothing. We were still in that ball game. And the one-two pitch. A high pop to left. Wilson coming in, tagging his tops. Wilson still coming. He'll catch it. Tops is coming. Throw is in plenty of time. Tag. He never slid. Goodbye. Our defense was really good, and, I, and I'm, you know, I was excited about that. You know, John Wilson played an outstanding game. He he saved us two runs out there, um, threw a couple guys, yeah, a couple caught a couple nice balls, had a, had some rangy uh, outs for us in the, in the air, and then uh, and then threw a couple guys out today. Had two assists and. Uh, was, was good. Defensively, we played well. We just didn't pitch it and hit it like we'd like to. And I told the guys, you know, you know, tomorrow's another opportunity. And that's the beautiful, beautiful thing about baseball. And we got a chance to go ahead and even the series up tomorrow. Ravez was down in the count 0 2, has battled back. Now the 3 2 with Cook going. And it's popped up. Center field. Tops is there. A complete game two hit shutout. The final score of this one. Buffalo 6, Kent State nothing. From Schoonover Stadium on the campus of Kent State University in Kent, Ohio, it is game number 36. Well, I thought the guys bounced back really good um, today, especially offensively, coming out and you know scoring a run that first inning and then tacking on throughout the, especially those middle innings, we really did a good job against you know their best, their best pitcher um, statistically. Uh, all year, so it was it was good to see and uh, fun to watch. He got into a groove between the second and the fifth inning, you know, doing what he does best, pounding the zone down and using his changeup and 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 any count he was using it against right-handers, left-handers, and and doing a really good job, especially commanding that fastball down in the zone, and then it makes his changeup a lot better. So it's, it was good to see. No, and, and it, our defense was good in key situations, which was really good. Um, we didn't play spot, you know, we didn't play great, great defense, but uh, it was solid enough. Um, I think just commanding my pitches, um, putting the ball in the zone, and, um, you know, just trying to get ahead in the count. I think that really was what was working for me today. Um, I was feeling pretty good. You know, I was just trying to stay smooth, not do too much, and um, just go out there and get the job done. Um, I think just to come out with a lot of energy and um, have good at-bats, do well on the mound, and I think that's all we really need. We'll be able to get the job done. We did a, we did a good job, even Jake Newshafer coming off the bench and getting that stolen base, and then we were able to bunt him over to third, and, uh, and he, gets, he scores a run for us late. That's a big run just to keep the momentum going on our side and, 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 and uh, get that W. It was good. It was a good win. All together, I thought our offense played outstanding. You know, like you said, one through nine, everybody contributed, and that's what we needed to do today, and we're going to need the same tomorrow. Ninth inning. The pitch to Burke. A bouncing ball to short. This should do it. Poland waits, throws, and that's the ball game. It's a KSU KO over Buffalo, and the series is even. The final score of this one, Kent State 8, Buffalo 4. Now the pitch, and Poland drives it to left field. Back is Pollock, track. Wall tie game. Sawyer Sawyer Poland was so big for you know to see him go ahead and get us kick started hitting that home run and those those two doubles really got us going and it was outstanding to see he worked so hard he's been grinding through this whole thing uh, all year basically and and he's he's out at the field early every single day working with Coach Marconi and I and it's it's been really good um, and I'm so happy for him because um, he's a really good player and and he works extremely hard. Just seeing the ball well today. I was just trying to give the team a spark, really. I know that's what everybody was trying to do because they say hitting is contagious. So we we're just trying to get a little spark for the team. I mean, Burke pitched a great game, really. He concentrated through the entire game. He had all of us off balance and really just try to go up there and make contact with it. And when I see a pitch I like, I just try to barrel it up. Uh, it was huge for us because we just wanted to come out and play well on Sunday because we've it's had been a little frustrating for us playing on Sundays, but came out, played well today, and we'll see if we can get the ball rolling now. It's a, it's a heck of a win for us to, you know, come back, bounce back from the Friday night loss and kind of getting skunked offensively. And then, you know, those first six innings today, he, he threw a gem. That ball gets over Sinead's head all the way to the wall. Around second is Wagler. He'll easily go to third. Up. Coach is sending him. Here comes the throw, the slide, the tag. Not in time. 
Justin Wagler with it inside the park home run. He was mixing fastball slider change to both lefties and righties. He was dominating us and we made a really good adjustment in the sixth inning and started getting to him and, and uh, we won that game six inning on basically and you know, Dorsey just doing his two. thing. He's, he's very dominating. He's a good pitcher. He's got unbelievable potential on that mound and um, I think he's going to pitch in the big leagues one day. I really do and um, he just continues to get better. He's been very resilient all year and, and it's good to have him in the back end of that bullpen was the man the Bulls wanted on Friday night. They got him on Saturday. He got the save. They get him today. He's an out from the save. Fans come pumping to life here in inning number nine. The 2-2 pitch. A swing and a weak bouncer by the mound. Charging at third. Wagler gloves, throws, got him! And that's the ball game. It's a KSU KO, and they'll stay in first. 7-4 to four over the Bulls on Easter Sunday. The Bulls wanted Dorsch. They got him, and he got saves number 7 and 8. The final score of this one, Kent State 7, Buffalo 4.